Tranexamic acid is used to treat heavy bleeding during your menstrual period. It works by slowing the breakdown of blood clots, which helps to prevent prolonged bleeding. It belongs to a class of drugs known as antifibrinolytics. It is not a hormone, so it does not treat other menstrual or premenstrual symptoms, stop your period, or act as a form of birth control. It also does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. The recommended dosage for tranexamic acid is usually 1,300 mg taken 3 to 4 times a day during your period. It is best to take it as soon as the heavy bleeding starts, and continue taking it for up to 4 days. Always follow your doctor's instructions for the correct dosage and timing. Before you start taking tranexamic acid, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually three times a day. You can take it with or without food, but make sure to swallow the medication whole and not crush or chew it. It's best to wait until your period has started before taking your first dose, and remember not to take tranexamic acid for more than five days in a row. The dosage of tranexamic acid is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. If there is a change in your bleeding pattern or if heavy bleeding lasts or gets worse, make sure to inform your doctor. Some common side effects of tranexamic acid include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and muscle pain. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the risk of potential side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to seek medical attention if you experience any serious side effects, such as eye or eyelid problems. Additionally, although rare, tranexamic acid may cause serious blood clot problems. If you experience symptoms such as coughing up blood, fainting, chest or arm pain, or signs of a stroke, it's important to stop taking the medication and seek medical help immediately. In the rare event of a serious allergic reaction, seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. In the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking tranexamic acid, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history with your doctor, especially if you have any history of bleeding in the brain, blood clots, heart diseases, kidney problems, or irregular menstrual bleeding. Tranexamic acid is usually used during your menstrual period and should not be used during pregnancy unless clearly needed. It's also important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. Additionally, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products, before having surgery. It's important to be aware that tranexamic acid can interact with other medications, which may affect how they work or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's best to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Don't start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with tranexamic acid include, blood thinners, like warfarin and heparin, drugs that prevent bleeding, estrogens, hormonal birth control, tibolone, and tretinoin. Be sure to check all prescription and non-prescription medicine labels carefully, as many medications contain pain relievers that may increase your risk of bleeding. If you are prescribed low-dose aspirin for specific medical reasons, such as heart attack or stroke prevention, it should be continued as directed by your doctor. Remember to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. If you suspect an overdose and the person has serious symptoms like passing out or trouble breathing, it's important to call for medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, contact a provincial poison control center. 
symptoms of overdose can include severe dizziness and vomiting. It's important not to share this medication with others. While taking tranexamic acid, it's important to have regular lab and medical tests to monitor your kidney function and eye health. Make sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of tranexamic acid, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Keep your tranexamic acid medication at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a safe place, out of reach of children and pets. When it's expired or no longer needed, it's important to properly dispose of it. You can ask your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. And remember, don't flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.